try. Curtis, where's the team at? With you said you know, easing off the fitness a little bit and then getting into the game specific stuff. So what are the team working on at the moment? Um, well, basically we're just getting back to the basics. We've for the last two weeks we've been doing a lot of uh, fitness and testing our uh, mental toughness, and that's been a real challenge for us. But uh, now we're uh, you know coming into you know uh, the next couple of weeks we'll be playing. Uh, we're, we're starting to see the ball more and um, starting to get our set plays and that um, underway. Has it been comfortable for you to, to come into this new environment? Like, well, what's, what's the transition been like into camp for you? Yeah, it's been an awesome experience. The boys have been more, more than welcoming and, and the coaching staff have been, uh, you know, uh, great. And I've been enjoying my time here and just, um, you know, just learning uh, along the way. And, and I'm just, uh, you know, quite grateful for, for an opportunity. What are your individual goals? Um, I mean, clearly you'd like to play, but what, yeah. what, what are your goals just for the build-up uh, training sessions? Yeah, well, the training, like, I just need to you know, focus on myself and, and my, my main goals is um, just every, every session just try and uh, do my best and, um, you know, try and impress the coaches and, and, and my fellow teammates. So, um, you know, hopefully, you know, ultimately you want to play um, a, a test match for, for the Wallabies and that's, um, you know, my main goal. But, um, yeah, you've got a little goals that you write down and um, I've got a couple of them that I've ticked so far. I think a little while ago Chet kind of said he wasn't sure whether he saw you as a setter or a wing. Do yeah. you have any more clarity on that? Yeah, um, oh, I'm, I'm more than happy to play anywhere on the wing or, or in the centres. But um, yeah, just um, if I got, if I got opportunity, you know, I would take it with both hands. What's this camp sort of been different to any of the other ones, the, the one in Newcastle that you've been at? Yeah, oh, I think they're pretty similar. Um, they're really intense and um, uh, really precise on what we wanted to achieve. And I think, uh, you know, these last two weeks, uh, the boys have, have gained uh, a lot of uh, uh, mental toughness and a lot of fitness um, uh, regimes. They, they've just um, overcome all the hurdles that we've faced and, and it's similar to this week and um, everyone's just ticking the boxes and, um, yeah, we couldn't be more than happy for all the boys. Are you using this as every day sort of, or every training session as a chance to go out there and impress and push, push for your selection? Yeah, that's it. So, like every time you, you put on the boots and come out on the field, you you want to put your best foot forward, and and doing so is uh, making sure that you compete in everything you do, and if that's fitness or if that's um, you know passing the ball and making sure you hit the targets, and uh, so be it. We've got a fan day coming up a little bit later on today. Yeah. Um, what, how, why is it so important to I guess throw the doors open to possibly the next generation? Yeah, it's awesome to see the public that um, you know interact with us, and we did that in Newcastle. And, and we have massive support there. Um, you know, it's it's always good to have uh, grassroots coming through because you know without you know future players, um, you know th there won't be any games for us to play. So it's uh, it's awesome that you know we've got an open session, and um, you know we want to see a big big crowd out here, and uh, we want to get a lot of photos and sign a few signatures. How's the body? Yeah, has, is this a, a new injury or? No, this is the one I got against the Hurricanes a couple mm. months ago, but. Um, yeah, I guess it's just monitoring it, uh, just keeping it in place at the moment. And been working pretty hard with the SNC and the the medical team to stay on top of it. Um, obviously, you know, I went through a major one with my right knee, and um, you know, I sort of seen a, a couple of the after effects of that. So I just want to make sure I stay on top of that with my left one. We know your rehab story throughout the year. We know you know how hard checks push some of the bigger guys in particular in these camps. How have you found it, knowing that you haven't had a full season under your belt, fitness-wise? You feel like okay. Yeah, no, I feel good. Uh, I think, you know, these camps are about coming in with the right sort of mental frame of mind and are just ready to um, for anything, you know. I guess that's what these camps are about, you know, just um, fine-tuning a lot of what we're trying to do this year, you know, and, and putting it all out there on the field individually. So, um, yeah, it's been great, you know. We had, a, we had a big day yesterday and a big morning um, this morning with the forwards and I'm sure the backs did as well. So uh, I think we'll be looking to sort of bring those two together this afternoon. Plenty of competition for spots. How are you feeling? You know, are you feeling it out there? For sure. Uh, I think the boys are training with some great intent, and and um, you know, it's really starting to show uh, the competitiveness has been been unreal. Uh, I think it's great for everyone. It pushes everyone to another level and makes sure that everyone you know keeps bringing their best um, every training session. So um, we know the sort of margins that we're dealing with now in terms of selection, and I guess everyone wants to make sure they put their best foot forward. Um, I was going to say, despite that, do you still feel as though, you know, are you hoping to start, you know, in a couple of weeks off the bench? Like, where do you sort of see, you know, your own hope your position will be in the, the squad? Oh, I guess everyone plays to start, you know, that's 
that's the ultimate goal of every rugby player is to start for their country. But uh, at the end of the day, you've got to make sure you're doing all the right things here at training and, and ticking all the boxes um, that they want to see from you, um, obviously from your position and then individually what they feel you can bring to, um, to the game plan. So, um, yeah, I guess that's what this week's about for me is making sure that I'm you know, doing all the right things and, and just showing what I think I can bring this year. I'm going super regional um, with the with the camps. This is a little bit different, I guess, to what normally happens with Wallabies camps. You haven't ever been to Cessnock before, have you? No, I haven't. I've heard great things about it, uh, the Hunter Valley uh, as a whole. You know, uh, I think it's somewhere I might like to come back, you know, when I have a bit of time off and, uh, and really check out the region and the area. But uh, I think it's been great going to Newcastle. Um, you know, having all the fans come in, having those open training sessions was unreal, you know, it was pretty packed up there and, you know, we're hoping that the same sort of thing happens here at Cessnock, which I'm, I'm sure, um, you know, everyone from around will, will come in and get behind it. So, uh, and I've loved it. I think it's been great. It's put of a, a different spin on the, on the year for us. And um, I think, you know, it will go a long way to, towards what we want to achieve this year. Are you hoping that might, I don't know, give you guys the edge, you know, by going out here and seeing, I guess, some of the, getting back to the grassroots? Yeah, I think just, I guess from a personal feel, I think it's great for us to come back and, and um, you know, recognise not only the grounds but the areas, you know, how passionate everyone is about their, you know, junior footy and their, and their club footy as well, you know. Um, I, was, I was a lot like that coming up, you know, and you got a real kick out of um, the Waratahs when I was growing up in Sydney coming down or even the first graders from my club team from West Harbour coming down to see the West Juniors was... Uh, you know, I think it's great and I think it's something we can continue to keep building on this year. How much does it help your forwards when it's being ready from the get-go this time around as opposed to June when obviously you had a bit of a started start in series? Yeah, I guess it's been great to string a few games together. Uh, obviously, I had an interrupted year with, with the hammy tear earlier in the year and then only going four games in and then doing my knee, but um, that's the nature of the game. You know, these, these years are going to come round and, and you've just got to sort of deal with it as it goes, but it's been great to string a few games together and and, um, you know, be sort of fighting fit. Um, you know, obviously I'm not quite where I want to be, but I know that, um, you know, if I keep sort of continuing on the track I am, I, you know, I'll be ready to put my hand up for selection next week. How prepared do you think the team is, um, team in general, compared to this time last year going into Blitters Low 1? Oh, we've got a different makeup uh, this year. Um, a lot of youth and exuberance, which I think is great. Um, you know, the, the, the effort's there. And like I said, these, these camps are about fine-tuning how we want to play. So I think that's um, a lot of what we're trying to do um, here at the moment up here in Cessnock is just, you know, really sort of getting those um, little one percenters down pat and, and really just uh, familiarise everyone with, with everything and make sure that we're good to go so that when we do leave here on Friday, you know, we can really get stuck into it on Monday next week.